Good morning, this is Raymond Mayfield, and it's so great to be with you today on this program. I trust that God is with you today, and He's doing great things in your life. I want to talk to you today about with God all things are possible. That scripture is found in Matthew 19 and 26. I love that word possible. It means that something is capable of being realized in our life. Jesus said there is nothing beyond the realm of possibility with God. He is omnipotent. He is all-powerful. He is omniscient. He is an all-knowing God, and He is successful and cares about all of us and everything that happens in our life today. We have two choices we can make. We can believe everything in the Bible, or we can doubt and live under a dark cloud of skepticism. And I choose in my life to live my life of faith and the first choice, and that is uh, believe everything that's contained in the Bible. I believe that the Bible is God's Word. I believe it's inspired by God. I believe it's anointed of God. I believe every chapter, every verse, and every line. Jesus said that nothing was impossible with God. If Jesus said that, I'm going to believe that. We come from a long list of ancestries that uh, believed the same way. Noah knew it was possible to save him from a worldwide flood. Joseph knew that God would fulfill his dreams even though he lay in a pit and later in a dungeon. In an hour's time, he went from a prisoner to a prime minister. What a great anointed blessing that was. Millions of Israelites believed God could do anything when they saw the Red Sea roll back and where millions crossed over on dry ground. That was a dynamic miracle. Later, they gathered up bread every morning and enjoyed cold water from a gushing solid rock. That is a miracle beyond descriptions how God could send them bread from heaven. I often joke about it, it had to be whole wheat bread. I don't know what kind of bread it was, but we know it was bread sent from heaven. Uh, they knew God's delivering power when the walls of Jericho fell down and they conquered Jericho because God was with them and God helped them to conquer that territory when they had just entered into the Promised Land. Samson knew that God could use a man to fight the Philistines when the Spirit of the Lord came up on him. Friends, I want to tell you when the Spirit of the Lord is up on you, you can accomplish great and mighty things for God if you'll just allow God to help you in your life. David faced the giant Goliath without any type of fear whatsoever. Elijah believed God when fire fell from heaven and consumed the altar at Mount Carmel. Thank God for his wonderful power when he was up against almost 500 people from Baal and God helped him. He was a one-man team with the Lord's help and God gave him a great victory on the top of Mount Carmel. Queen Esther beheld the deliverance of the Jews from the murderous Haman. Job went from bankruptcy to wealth and his faith stood firm because he believed God. Tremendous things happen when we believe God. Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises at midnight and there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison was shaken. All of the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. And that's found in Acts, the 16th chapter, verse 25 and 26. Before the dust settled, the jailer and his wife and house were saved. That's all because all things are possible with God. Today there's a sign posted right over that ruins there of where that prison was where Paul and Silas were delivered and it says, for me to live is Christ. Yes, I want to tell you all things are possible with God. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. 
God is certainly concerned about everything that's going on in our life today. If you're going through depression, if you're going through a marriage breakup, regardless of what's happening to you, God wants to help you today. And I pray with you today, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that listens to this program today. I pray the anointing of God will be up on them. I pray you'll deliver them from depression and anxiety, panic attacks. Uh, those that are dealing with cancer and heart conditions and every kind of conditions, I pray your healing hands uh, will be stretched out to every one of them. And we just believe God for everyone that's listened to this program today. And I pray in Jesus' name, let the Word of God grow and let the strength of God. May the Word of God fill this land and may it circulate all over this world uh, that Jesus is Lord. And I want to thank you so much for listening to this program today. And I appreciate it very much. And I'll talk to you again real soon. And may the Lord bless you and give his blessings and cause his face to shine.